kick made flush contact. Well, he's going to enjoy watching this one back. Let's take a look at the replay of the knockout just a moment ago. It was right hand after right hand after right hand. Finally, he found the one that hit the exact sweet spot that ended his opponent's night. In the Korean Superboy, Duo Choi and John Jones. All right, so here he is, the consensus, greatest mixed martial arts athlete of all time, UFC light and heavyweight champion, John Jones. It has been a remarkable career. The toughest fight he has had came against you. He is trying to add to his legacy here tonight in what is yet another big spot for Johnny Bones. John Jones is a guy that has reached the true pinnacle of mixed martial arts. No matter what he was going through outside of the octagon, the moment he stepped foot in there, he was just the best of the very best. I've shared the octagon with him twice, and I have never felt that I was getting attacked by so many different things. He's a phenomenal mixed martial artist, truly deserves to go down in the UFC Hall of Fame. A champion now was a champion before, one of the longest reigns in UFC light heavyweight history. And it's one thing to have length, it's another thing to use it as well as he does that 84-inch reach. Certainly one of many tools in the vast arsenal of Johnny Bones Jones. Well, DC, this is a true mixed martial artist of the highest order. You've watched the film. Hard for me to see much in terms of glaring weaknesses, and he believes he can react to anything that is thrown his way inside that arm. It's unbelievable, because whenever you're trying to prepare for someone, you look for weaknesses. But when you watch this guy, you, nothing jumps off the page. When you think I have to go wrestle him, you realize very quickly that not only can he defend takedowns, he can also go and secure this sure. himself. He's that new breed of fighter that has been doing every discipline from the very start of his career. You ready? You ready? While well, these guys have been on each other's radars for quite some time, tonight it shall be done. Both guys well-rounded. You think we're getting a kickboxing match tonight or what? You just don't know, right? You don't know who's gonna be able to employ their strategy the way that they need to. This is a close fight on paper, and also in every performance we have seen him put on, these guys seem to be the mirror image of each other. Oh, really using his reach advantage as he landed the jab. Jones gets the early takedown, that did not take long. All right, half guard for him here, and a lot of offensive options, I would think, at his disposal. Oh, he's got a ton of options. He has submission options, but I believe the safest option for him here is going to be to use his ground and pound. Build a base, posture up, throw big strikes, get back to position, build posture again, throw big strikes, and just really wear him down with a really secure position in half guard. Back to the feet now. Good series of strikes by him there. Great job of mixing it up, staying active, keeping busy, doing great work. Look at him whip his hip into that kick. There's no give on that leg kick. Back and forth we go! Oh! He's in trouble. He's hurt bad. Under three minutes now to go in what has been a very fast-paced opening round here. Oh, and another leg kick lands flush, and now you're starting to see visible damage on that lead leg of his opponent. Visible damage, and you see him starting to make mistakes now in his defenses because his leg is so beat up. It's red, it's all beat up, he's limping, he's turning away. There are so many things that he is doing wrong now because of the leg damage he has taken. Big ball punch lands. Now we get back to the range. Now we're going. Crucifix from the top position, DC. If you're on the bottom, what are you trying to do to get out? On the bottom, you've got to start bridging. You've got to drive your feet and your heels into the mat. Start bridging and turning side to side, hoping that... Going for the arm here. South position now, DC. We'll see how he chooses to advance from here. Side control now, DC. A lot of options at his disposal from here. Working off of his back here. Looks like he may try to hip escape. 
So we crossed the 30-second mark in our opening round. All right, he's sort of hanging out here unguarded, DC. Not sure if he's trying to bait him in or what, but not great body language here. Nice counter shot there. Yeah, Round two straight ahead. Whoa, 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 whoa. Well, what a round it was, especially from a striking standpoint. DC, take us through. High-level striking. I mean, this is what people come through the doors to see. Two men stand on a quarter, chest to chest, forehead to forehead, and let it all fly. I'm surprised nobody went out, but it does excite me for the next round. OK, ready? Round two. You ready? So far. Oh, nice job to land that knee to the bottom. Man, I wish I was in the Flips the guard, lands the right hand. Whiffs on that offering. Really making good use of his reach advantage there with that punch. Whoa! Dude's hurt. Serve him up. Go get him. Oh, spinning back fist. Just misses there with the left. Collar tie, and they separate. Back and forth we go. Well, just exhausting watching some of these takedown attempts. He's unable to get it there. And he's attempting him over and over again. How long before he gets discouraged and accepts that this is going to be a stand-up fight? All right, well, he's landed some good shots tonight, but there's no three-piece, there's no soda. More often than not, it's one and done. He's not even getting a combination. I mean, hey. if you're going to sit there at the drive-thru, <laughs> order a combination, take the soda with your food, give him the right hand behind the jab, give him the... Nice double leg takedown attempt there, and you got to think that's something that's going to give him confidence moving forward in this fight. A lot of confidence when it happens that easily. He took a shot, he got a takedown. What now will stop him from doing it over and over again? Jones is going for an arm here. Oh! Now he's okay. Now he can escape. Well, you see all the grappling repetitions here. Just beautiful movement, seamless transitions on the ground. Over and over, these guys are doing things that you see in every jiu-jitsu gym around the country. Well, these are some excellent ground and pound strikes here, DC. There's an efficiency with which he operates in these situations. He knows exactly when to throw, exactly when to hold, and it's allowing him to really control the grappling aspect of the fight. There's a song there, right? Know when to hold him, know when, when to hold him. Yep, there absolutely. Oh, nicely done there as he escapes back to his feet. Jones has got the tie clinch now. So a much different approach for him here in this second round. He was a little bit tentative in round one, a little bit of a feeling out process. Now he has clearly found his rhythm, found the range. We'll see if he can continue with more activity here in round two. Oh, he gets the takedown late in the round here. Ten seconds remain in round two. Strong bottom work here, staying busy. All right, a lot of high-level highlights from that last round, DC. Take us through the replay. If he fought like this, I would be comfortable entering him into a K-1 level right. kickboxing competition. He's that good at finding and landing those kicks at will. He needs to continue to do this as the fight goes on. All right, here we go with our next round, and really shades of the Diaz brothers in that previous round. A lot of volume, a lot of accuracy, just a lot of efficiency on the field. Very, very efficient. Good round in the sense that he did not throw everything with absolute power, but he was touching the entire time. And then every now and again, he would set down on a strike that was really damaging his opponent. Well, it's one thing to have length, it's another thing to use it, and he does it as well as anyone. Nice kick there. Shot a double leg. Oh, how about the slam there? That one cannot feel 
good. All right, half guard position here. We'll see what he can do with it. A lot of weapons at his disposal from this dominant position. Oh, man. I feel for a wrestler, this is the most dominant position in all of fighting because wrestlers love control. Right. And to have your upper body freeze and your leg able to hold your opponent in position, it is like striking gold. Build your posture, throw your punches. Big Jones is going for an arm here. Well, there are a few things more fun to watch in mixed martial arts than these type of transitions and scrambles on the ground. High-level grappling can really be entertaining. Win the scramble, win the scramble. All right, so you gotta be careful playing on the ground with this guy. You don't wanna mess around for too long. Well, he is really starting to apply a lot of pressure here down the stretch. Not as much offense earlier in the fight. That one appeared to stun him. Oh, he's hurt bad. He's hurt bad, John. He's got to press him. He's got to go chase that finish down now. Straight right hand now just misses. Jones has lowered John now starting to show signs of swelling. Good right hand. Both guys really throwing with authority. Straight one. Leg kick. Oh, man, look at that. Picture perfect. Got to the leg, got to his position, got another beautiful takedown. Well, pretty good work off of the bottom here by the Korean Super Bowl. A lot of top pressure being applied here as he works out of side control. Now he's able to isolate that left arm. Look for him to step over the top of the head to lift his opponent onto his hip to chase his finish. The Kimura's not the arm, it's the shoulder pressure and he's that usually makes it tap. Well, he's staying pretty effective here, fighting off of his back. Nice strike landed there by the bottom by the Korean Super Bowl. Right. Stop, stop. All right, let's take a look back at some of the replays from that last round. Unbelievable to see these high-level competitors get in each other's face, tuck their chin, bite down on the mouth guard, and just let it all hang out over the course of five minutes. by the Korean Super Bowl. Well, he hasn't really showed any signs of slowing down tonight. He continues to connect on a high volume of strikes here. Big punch lands over the top. How's he gonna follow this one? And he landed the right hand there. Wow! He needs to start looking to finish now because he's got it. That's only hurt very bad. Now goes in and secures the takedown. He's gonna try to attack Kimura here. And he's out. Lands a strike now from the bottom. Nice work there by Chor. Jones has got full mount now. Well, any time you are in a ground fighting situation with this fighter, you're potentially playing with fire. Oh, shot to the body connects there. He hasn't really thrown too many body strikes in this fight, but now, as this fight goes... Oh! What a sweep! Oh, straight right! Jones's lower jaw looking extremely slow. That is it. And that will do it! He got him! I should say so. A tremendous kick to end that fight tonight. Caught his opponent flush, full force, full extension, and he had no chance to stay in this fight. Fight was over as soon as that kick made flush contact.
Well, he's going to enjoy watching this one back. Let's take a look at the replay of the knockout just a moment ago. It was right hand after right hand after right hand. Finally, he found the one that hit the exact sweet spot that ended his opponent's night. Now we go inside the octagon. Bruce Buffer with the official decision. Ladies and gentlemen, referee Dan Mergliana has called a stop to this contest at two minutes, 41 seconds of round number four. Declaring the winner by knockout, the Korean Super Bowl, Hu Ho Chong. All right, so there he is.